and you're watching, watching to entertainment. Entertainment. Oh, entertainment. The scoop. Scoop. And this is where I get my news. Hey, I'm Meredith O'Connor. If you want to know all about me, tune into Entertainment Scoop. It's been three weeks. You're never ever gonna see my heart on my sleeve. You've made a mistake. You took our love and then you put hate in its place. I'm not unscarred anymore. I wanna get back to before. How do I do it? Hey, Entertainment Scoop. What's going on? I'm hanging out with the beautiful and talented Meredith O'Connor. We're here in New York City and we're coming to find out the scoop. So please tell me how you guys started the industry. Um, well, actually, the first thing that I've done in the music industry um, before modeling and acting and off Broadway, which is what I did when I was younger, was celebrity. And um, I got discovered off of YouTube by just a lot of fans. Two million views. Yeah, <laughs> almost three million now. And it's, it's been re really crazy. Um, the radios took well to it, the fans took well to it. I had a lot of support from my family, from my friends, and um, mostly my manager, Rick, who's been by my side. Uh, since I was a model, <laughs> when I was 14 years old, and we started this whole music thing. Um, and once we got a fan base, and once YouTube kind of took off, we just started rolling with the anti bullying thing because I think um, whenever you have a voice or whatever power you have, you should use it for good. Celebrity was really something that transformed you into a celebrity. Going <laughs> yeah. back further. That's what people say. Like, that's what people say. They're like, uh, the song Celebrity then made you a celebrity. And then there's like headlines about this. So that was that was definitely funny, kind of a cool thing that came out of it. Absolutely. But you were discovered by a model in So yes. was that your first interest? Um, my first interest was actually singing on stage in community theater, um, just small shows here and there. And then Turtle Shell Productions took me on as one of their actors. And that was just a, a theater group in New York City. And um, it got intense, it'd be like eight shows a week, all our rehearsals, but I, it was what I loved. And my mom, I remember my mom driving me to practice rehearsal when I was like nine, ten. Um, and then modeling is how, and then I got discovered by MMG, uh, who my talent scout, the Viva Scout, um, got me up with some shoots, and um, ever since then, I kind of moved the modeling. That's amazing. And so you sing a little bit of classical, Broadway, pop, so tell me, you know, Sing all these different genres, which one's the most difficult, which one do you love the most? How do you get ready to kind of translate to the joy? Um, well, I definitely have a passion for theater music because I, I sing I sang it so much. Um, and I guess how I translate how I've made the transition from theater to modeling to music is um, I really always stuck to myself as an artist. I always like I always was myself in every um, business I got into or you know at every job I did I was always myself and music has honestly been you know I, I love acting with a passion but music has been really the best way for me to um, get my message out and express myself uh, through a language that really can't compare to any other. A little bit of transition into the bullying side not to speak too much onto it but tell me a little bit of background on how you got involved with anti-bullying and Okay um well I mean, my decision to write the song The Game and start the whole movement was, you know, when Rick, Rick was very close, you know, working with me as a manager, and he kind of, it was his idea to say, let's, you know, use your power for good. And um, the reason I chose the anti-bullying message is because I remember growing up feeling like oh, I was bullied as a kid. It impacted my self-esteem so much to a point where I wasn't able to tell adults, my mom, teachers, or anyone. I thought it was my fault. I wanted to, um, whoever listened to my music, I just wanted them to know they're not alone and uh, if I could help them, I, I was going to be very sure that I went out and did it. So the anti bullying thing is something I have a lot of experience with, and um, I really am able to relate and understand to the kids or fans or friends or whatever who come up to me and are like, hey, I was bullied. Has this ever happened to you? And to be, for me to be able to say yes and truthfully tell them, like, how it, how it is, and that it's going to get better, and like I can promise you, it will just stay strong. What is kind of the message if you could just say one sentence that you either tell people that are asking you questions, or maybe you wish someone told you while you were growing up and being bullied? What's kind of that one message that you want people to stick with? Um, well, there's a lot, but I really think that right off the top of my head, um, 
kids need to hear that they're not alone and they need to understand that it's true. If I could go tell myself that, I and if I would believe it, that would be great because I wouldn't have felt so lonely throughout the process and realized that, like I know now, that there are people who are going through problems everywhere and um, you can get through it on the next season. If there was a message you could say to your bullies, um, well, a lot, uh, that's a question I, I get uh, a lot of times people say, have you ever, you know, accepted their apologies? And I, um, usually when it comes down to actually confronting the bullies who have apologized or, you know, said, hey, look, here's what's up, sorry about it. Um, my, my recommendation um, for, for, well, what I do, what I recommend to anybody in that position is to not be spiteful and for, forgive them as long as they understand that what they did is wrong. You know, you reach out to a lot of your fans and you answer back questions. So tell us where we can follow you and stay Sure. You. Instagram at Meredith O'Connor. Um, that's my handle. And then Twitter at Meredith Tur. Facebook at Meredith O'Connor. And it's M E R E D I T H O C O N N O R. If you could just sing for us. Yeah. Awesome. Here, take the mic. Okay. <laughs> Which one should I say? Your song. Anyway. All right. Um, <coughs> I don't fit in with the in crowd, but I fit with you. And I don't fit in, but I like out, cause you're a little weird too. And that's just the thing I like about you. Hey, just the thing I like about you. Hey, I'm Meredith O'Connor. You're hanging out with Entertainment Scoop, and this is where I get my news.